Welcome to the cool room. Time to kick off your wheels and slide into that couch's bum group. Because today, we've got some seriously sweet action for your viewing pleasure. This week, we check out some aeronautic nutbags in a wicked air show. Catch a break in Chiopu. Find a different use to the everyday shovel. And say good day to yet another Foxy Roxy chick, Stephanie Gilmore. With all this and much, much more, there's no place like the cool room. There's nothing like a good old fashioned air show. The only motorsport event where the spectator deaths outnumber the contestant casualties. Now that's what I call audience participation. The cool room has always been about audience safety, bringing you top-notch footage of dirty and dangerous events, all so you can watch from the comfort and safety of your own home. We cover every detail from the dizzying heights of an aeroplane stunt right down to the flailing nostrils of audience members. We take all the risks so you can really feel like you're amongst the action. Because they're so high, it's difficult to get a sense of speed, but these bad boys can even break the sound barrier. Hey, I've seen Elton John wearing those same binoculars. What started off as a drunken dare at a small gathering is now attracting thousands of spectators as Austria's annual jump and freeze competition. Like Germany's Oktoberfest and America's election day, Austria has managed to make an event out of reckless tomfoolery. And that boys and girls is why you should never light your farts on fire. There's something satisfying about watching someone freeze their plums off in a pool of icy water from the confines of your warm, comfy couch. Now for the big guns. This beast of a monster truck stands at a massive 3.5 metres high and took out the first prize after shattering on impact. Welcome to the quiet town of Chopu, Tahiti, home to the heaviest wave in the world. And along with the heaviest wave comes the heaviest injuries. Shame this guy got hurt roller skating in the car park. These monster waves are known for severely hurting talented surfers and swallowing up the gutsy but not so talented ones. A set of plums the size of guava melons alone won't cut it here. You'll just end up serving the sharks fresh fruit. Skill is a major part of coming out of this thing alive.
consider yourself lucky, big fella. The last guy to take a spill here came out with a toe tag. That was Chapu, the meanest and coolest break on the planet. Here we are in Aspen, where the beer flows like wine and the women instinctively flock like the salmon of Capistrano. At night, this place is a party town with ski shows as big as rock concerts and all the sexy snow babes a man could want. Well, maybe not that many, but they've got a lot. But by day, it takes on a different persona. Hey, it's funny how much a sped up snowplow looks like my dog mounting his favourite stuffed monkey. With heavy heads and bleary eyes, these kick-ass snowboarders hit the half-pipe as if they were in bed by seven with a glass of milk and a plate of cookies. The Aspen Slopes are also decked out with heaps of sweet obstacles. These boys have got a blood alcohol level that would restrict them from operating any heavy machinery and they still manage to pull off these wicked stunts. Jeez, I haven't struggled to keep the seat clean in that state. Good work, boys. Packed out crowds and windy conditions for the super quick ski jump event. The chicks are cleaning up in this comp, getting some huge airs and awesome distances. Here comes trouble. If you don't come into the ramp absolutely perfectly, you can count on an unfortunate landing. And that's not your standard diving board splash. At these speeds, the water turns to concrete.
With outfits like these, a stuffed potato down the old wire fronts isn't unheard of. Oh, she's feeling a pain usually restricted to altar boys and prison folk. Now these snow enthusiasts aren't giving us the old fashioned morning glory salute. They've actually found another use for the humble snow shovel. Although this looks like fun, I can see it going totally wrong. And to avoid the risk of turning my boys into wonton soup, I think I'll stick to my trusty snowboard. Now that's more like it. Hang on a second, how are these things supposed to stop? Hey, there's an upside. After a crash like that, that thing can double as a coffin. Oh, and, and my condolences to the grieving family. Uh, on second thought, I think the snow shovel looks like the safer option. Stephanie Gilmore hit the professional surf scene in 2005 when she went from schoolgirl to surf star after taking out the Roxy Pro. Since then, she managed to finish her final year of school while jet-setting around the world competing in surf comps. Something tells me she might have been one of the popular girls. I think about surfing, what gets me so excited is the fact that it's just such a great lifestyle, you know, you're out there having fun and, and enjoying yourself, it's not such a, a gnarly sport, you don't have to go out there and train five days a week, and, um, well not yet, but um, <laughs> and yeah, I don't know, I'm just lucky enough to have it, um, hopefully it's my career. After hearing all the buzz surrounding her, I don't think she'll have too much trouble doing that. First picking up the board at a tender age of 10, Steph has plenty of experience for such a young competitor. And the girl is as cute as she is talented. Uh, the best thing about where I live on the Gold Coast is it's just a great place. The waves are always really good and it does get crowded, but I like surfing with all my friends and I like surfing with a lot of people. And, um, yeah, I don't know, it's a great place. Hopefully I'll live there for the rest of my life. Don't take, don't take, don't with all that sponsorship though rolling in, she can live wherever she wants.
the best thing is probably getting to see new people and, and different cultures, um, you know, different different islands and that sort of thing is really cool. And probably the waves, are, like they're all different at any beach, but when you get to come and surf reef breaks and stuff like that, it's, it's really cool to see how the wave breaks a lot differently and you, know, you get a lot more barrels over here and um, that sort of thing, so it's really cool just to check it out anyway. This goes to show, even the pros have to wax their own board from time to time. The feeling's awesome, you just, you know, you don't know what the wave's going to do, so you're a little bit nervous at the start, you know, you don't know what the what's on the bottom, whether it's sharp reef or soft sand or whatever, so you're a bit sketchy on what's going to happen, but, um, yeah, it's really good when you get a wave and you finally feel what's going on and, you know, everything's new, so you're just loving it. Well, Steph, you can certainly tear up those waves. Keep up the good work. Here's an event with more pint-sized skaters than the Wizard of Oz on ice. With all the ambition and none of the good sense to keep themselves injury free, some of these young skaters can tear it up better than the old boys. These freestyle street courses have caused more broken bones than the introduction of Superman television series and pogo stilts put together. Jeez, I've seen looser jeans on Greg Brady. Imagine that, still in school and having the crowds chanting your name. This is how Gary Coleman must have felt. Ah, the old plumber's crack trick. If that doesn't gain the judge's favour, I don't know what will. Just like a group of Amish barn builders, everyone pitches in to get the job done. 
But the jokes on the Amished, they don't get to do this once they're finished. And they've got funny beards. Watching these guys in action is making me want to split my snowboard down the middle. Or I could always just hire a set of skis. Either way, I'm definitely keen to give skiing a go. And again, I've never taken a spill like that on my snowboard. Yeah, I think I'll just stick to my trusty snowboard. Jeez, these guys are struggling. You'd think that snow was slippery or something. out of time here at the cool room. Hope you had fun. Catch you next time.